Uh, it's been a very challenging 10 to 14 days for us. We've actually had three separate cases on self-propelled semi-submersibles. Uh, these are really a naughty problem for us or have been in the past. Uh, these vessels, when we approach them, uh, scuttle themselves. It's very difficult for us to pull the contraband out and have successful prosecutions. That has changed a little bit in the last year with the passage of legislation by the Congress that makes the operation of a self-propelled semi-submersible in international waters a violation of U.S. law. We now have another option to deal with these uh, offenders when we can't get the contraband and these things are scuttled out from underneath us. And so we're very closely looking at the cases that are unfolding right now with both the Coast Guard and Navy assets down there. But we're very optimistic moving forward, especially as a result of this new legislation. Yeah, I would just pass on to the Rodney M. Davis, the alert, our lead deaths, our, our deployed folks that out to support this, including our partners in DHS, CBP, in fact, the entire team that works for Joint Air Agency Task Force South down there. Uh, this has worked for many, many years because, number one, it's a team effort. Number two, it's based on good intelligence. Number three, the command and control and coordination is unrivaled anywhere in the world.